Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So what I'm saying is, they're saying many things. Come close here. Come close, everybody here, so I can see you. Come close. Leave, leave the computers. Come here. Understand the concept. Everybody, come forward. You come also here. Up to the picture, you better. Hello. You come into back. What is the Camtasia? What is it? So see here, we will do a few things here. One is the CSS styling and we also have understand the box mode. Okay. Now look here. This is a header. I put up the header tag. Okay. Maybe I put up the nav tag. Okay. See, I have to do it like this. Then I inside I also got a div. Damn. I say div, okay. Then I say h, maybe h2 tag, and here I say this is now tag. This is now, okay. Whatever navigation, I don't only do this much uh, and try to understand the concept. So for if you have to give the CSS in line, in, so I say here the comment comment for control and forward slash for the for the comment i say inline css right so i'm putting inline css and what i do in inline css maybe i put up the header tag or h1 tag or div tag or whatever you want so maybe i uh, get the header tag into place and i write here style okay this is what we did last time maybe i put up some border to it and border is say 1 2 pixel and solid red for example right i gotcha control s and i want to go to live okay let's go to live okay it's coming up maybe i close all the stuff here tense elbow and all tbms i keep it open oh let's go be history um leave it now so leave it leave it leave it leave it i will can open it later on in history so this is a header you see this is it and i got a border i got a but you see there's some some kind of a space there and there is some space on the left side okay this is there is what's called a padding what's called a margin the box model tells about these things okay we will see to that but style is style is given to it i got the style that too how i got a style in line why because i opened up the header and i start giving the style the second thing was if i put up a style internal so i say comment i say internal css in internal say what do you do we say style okay and then i grab what anything we like to maybe header or i could use the class and id i told you last time the class is given to anyone okay and then uh, id is given to the particular element and i grab the class here using the dot and i grab the id using hash pound sign okay i put up the pound sign i can uh, grab the last time i showed you that for example i create here a div this this one for example th this guy uh, i call it say id equal to uh, this is now say for example now and it and i say and whatever i give it to okay and if i want to grab this i can uh, style it up using the nav tag or because if i have say for example div and i give it I put style to the div. So all the divs will be given that style. So if I want a particular div, then I use the either ID or a class. You can even create div, you know, like this. Say, for example, you say here, see, I, in the nav tag I'm creating, I say hash uh, about. Just give it a go. You see, it created automatically ID. Div with the ID about because hash belongs to ID. If I would have done like this, see, see again here, just close it. If I would have done dot about, would have created the class automatically. 
right? Because dot is for the class, hash is for the IDs. So I can grab this div either using the div, but that thing will be applied to all the divs, or I could use the class and ID. Then I have to write here hash or yes. Now here uh, in the style, I can say to the nav, I gra grab the nav. I grab what? Using the brace, I say border. The same thing, I say border equals to 10, uh, say for example, two pixel. There is a lot of things like pixels and M, EM and all. We use pixel, but I will teach you those things also. Solid and red, control S and watch it away. I could do like this uh, maybe. Okay, now you see, we got, we got the border right there, okay? One second. We got the border as you could see, right? If you want to space between this border and this border, maybe I have a, I will have the, I grab this uh, head, what was this, this was header? I grab the header and I give the style of uh, margin bottom, yes, margin bottom, say 20 pixels. Control S. Now you got the margins, right? Okay. Now if you just uh, open this up, uh, give it a go, then you say here, uh, right click and inspect. And now you see here, this, this is called the dev tools. You hover out on anything, it will show you the stuff. It will show you those margins and all. You see that yellowish thing comes, coming up there from that side, see? If I go to the, if I go to the nav, for example, if I go to the header, you see that uh, yellow stuff is giving me the bottom, okay? It's giving me the, uh, giving me this headers, uh, the bottom margin, right? That yellow thing comes up. Can you see the yellow thing? Yes, you can see, right? It shows all the things and on one side, it also shows the style. If I open up the same thing in my Chrome, okay? I should put up the, you know, uh, I should put Chrome as my default browser, actually. Google Chrome. And I do it here, Control V. Okay. And I say inspect. Now you see here, now this is the box model, as you could see. This is the box model. We have the margin. This is screen. This is what? Screen. The margin lies outside the border. As you saw here, this is a border. The red color is a border. Margin is outside to it. Margin is what? So if I go here, for example, to the header tag or nav tag, open up the header tag and all, open the div tag. Sorry. Okay, if you open up the nav tag or the div tag, it gives you not only that, it also gives you the style. See, it tells me the style. What is the style of it? All the all whatever the style is, it gives us those style. Display block. Okay, write down the assignment. What is the display block? Last time we have seen the display as inline. Okay, we created a display inline so that it goes on a side by side. You know what I what is display block doing? Write down as an assignment. Now border is two pixels solid. Okay. Element is this. This is a style and all. So we can do that. Now you see the box. In the box model, this is how CSS works. If you put up some margin, you put up some what? That margin will be outside the border. Let's try to put up some margin here. Header, we got some margin here. Okay, for the margin of say uh, 30 pixels to show it properly. Hit Control S. See what's happening. What's happening? So what is outside border inside border? But if you want to get this, this is header. Move from the border. You want to move it from the? As you can see, it's close to the border right now. I want to move it because if you see the 
what is between the border this is the border and this is the what that text what is what is there the padding the padding gets your content from the border okay so if you want to move this this is header from the border then what are you what are you going to do you going to add what padding we will see that adding padding to the left right and top and all that things you can do that that that's called padding that's called what so you say padding of say 20 pixels control s now what's happening to the header it has moved see its margin is moved it's this thing is moved right if you want to do to uh, this to all of the tabs okay i want this padding and margin to everybody to so how i do it or i want to clear margin and all whatever tags we have a material which tag we have i want to clear all the stuff okay how we do that or i want to create a default margin and padding as guys you thought so har ek us so how to do that yani ki main alag alag mat likhunga main chahta hu sab ke liye sab ke liye kaun sa mein hota hai aksar computer science mein for all in dos and all i want to copy all the files i want to delete all the files what we use for all asterisk we use what exactly or i could do one thing i just close this style here because it will mess up it will make my this फाइल बिगर अब देखो अभी दो लाइने भी नहीं लिखी स्टाइल इतना चौड़ा बन गया है ना तो मैं कल अपना स्टाइल बनाऊंगा बड़ी फाइल बनेगी अपना कंटेंट दिखेगा नहीं एंड आई वॉन्ट अ रीयूज दिस थिंग सो इट्स नॉट अ वे टू डू राइट आई जस्ट कॉमेंट इट आउट कंट्रोल स्पेस कंट्रोल पावर स्लैश आई गो हियर आई हैव माई सी एस एस होल्डर एंड आई हैव स्टाइल आई क्रिएट दिस स्टाइल हियर द फर्स्ट थिंग इज आई से स्टार एंड ब्रेक स्टार मीन्स all the tags no material which tag whatever you do here will apply it for all the tags maybe i want to do one thing i first uh, save this file first i control s save it now see it in the browser oh, wait damn it where i can come out do it here okay it is gone that padding at all that is gone theek hai na Okay. Now I go to the code. क्या? अच्छा वहाँ जो बोर्ड रहना है वही ठीक है. रहने दो वो कोई मसला नहीं. If you want to do it all there, you can do that. Okay. मैं इसको भी डिलीट करूँगा. ठीक है? Let me delete to clear all the style. Control S. Now everything is gone. Now what I want to do? I want to put everything where? in css file this this file and i write here firstly what is this this is this may be the why is this quickly coming there there is some some issue na it really comes for the issue anyway let's see we say firstly ki mere ko margin chahiye i want margin of 10 pixel so this will be applied to everybody i will not do it like this uh, usually we do this to clear we say margin is equal to 0 maximum times we do what margin is equal to 0 pixels padding equals to 0 per pixels maximum time we do styling <coughs> like this <coughs> okay usually we use this star to do this control s but ka acha acha right control s Squiggly is gone. There was some issue. I don't know what. Uh, maybe he is saying there is empty. Okay. Yeah, empty. That is why it was showing. Now, will this style be applied here? Control S. Nothing happens. No, no. I don't want to say Control S here. I want to say Control S here. Okay. So nothing happens. Has anything happened? Yeah, we have to link it. We have because this is separate file. You have something in the header file. Let's see. Will that be applied to your file? Unless you don't include. So same way we have to include. We have to where in the first dot. So we what we do here is after title or before title we usually do it. We say link tag. We say what? Bingo. It gives it automatically all the things you see here. 
you say link and relationship style sheet we are saying that this is the style sheet and what i'm trying to link and href is like we use the anchor tag and href so which file where is it it is in css slash style dot css control s now check it out okay as you could see now no margins huh margin ka gaya ye bilkul chipak gaya saath mein zero zero ke na ab main apne hisab se har ek ko apna margin lagaunga theek hai jo bhi lagana chahte hain so we can do that where we can do that in the in the css file itself here okay i can grab any 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 tag here like like uh, we grab it there in a internal style if i if you have a class then use the dot if you have the id use the hash and or you can directly call the tag like header yes what main tag mai sa ha agar header ko kiya to ye sab ko ho jayega header filhal mere paas ek hi hoga hai na फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्या बनाना चाहते हैं आप इसको बोर्डर से बोर्डर हम देंगे टू पिक्सल रेड इट शुड बी सॉलिड राइट ओके मे बी आई गिव बैकग्राउंड कलर गिव सम ग्रे काइंड ऑफ थिंग डू है ग्रे वट एवर गिव पैडिंग टू इट पैडिंग दे दो कितना देना चाहते हैं गुड पैडिंग ऑफ ट्वेंटी पिक्सल्स कंट्रोल एस जी नो वट्स हैपनिंग इट्स कमिंग ग्री द बॉर्डर इज कमिंग एंड इज गेटिंग दैट पैडिंग पैडिंग गेट्स यू बट आई नीड ऑल्सो द मार्जिन मे बी बट मे बी आई डोंट नीड मार्जिन ओके मे बी आई डोंट नीड margin or if i if you want margin then you can get margin margin will get border covered okay so if you get a, if you put up the margin there if you put up here what margin margin will be outside what outside the border right say 5 pixel maybe or maybe to see it a bit bigger okay yeah control s now see it now you got the margin you see top left bottom okay <clears throat> everywhere later on i i don't want a margin on the other side i will do the styling intensive styling and all okay now you see maximum times <clears throat> maybe you have a you you don't want margin sometimes you want margin you want to indent it and all that but the this is padding this is what this is padding and this is margin right you getting as you could see here in the box model here And maximum times, you know, if you if you open up a header, where's the header? Uh, in this, this is the header, right? You select it; it will give its CSS also. Okay, so you see margin zero pixel, which was default padding zero pixel, just default is deprecated now. It kind of cancelled out because we used uh, the header tag here and we gave gave it the margin now. ये by default था ना मैं star वाला जो किया था. ये उसने वो भी दिखाया उसको cross भी दिखाया कि क्या cross है. तो ये आपको बहुत फायदा देगा कि कोई फाइल आप एच की वेबसाइट हो गया आपने वाह इट्स ब्यूटीफुल एंड ऑल आपको देखना है कि इसने किया क्या है तो इन इंस्पेक्टेड यू गो टू ईच एंड एवरी टैग चेक आउट दिस स्टाइल्स एंड ऑल अंडरस्टैंड समटाइम्स इट्स ऑटोमेटिकली पुट अप लाइक लाइक हेडर हेडर को डिस्प्ले ब्लॉक किया इसने मैंने किया था क्या इसने कर दिया ना ये ये खुद के सी एस जनरेट करता है दैट इज ऑटोमेटिक टू द टू द हेडर चाहे आप करो मत करो कुछ सी एस एस ऑटोमेटिकली लग जाता है जैसे ये लग गया इट इज नॉट एच टी एम एल इट इज सी एस एस बाई आपका डिस्प्ले ब्लॉक है ठीक है ना यानी कि अगर आप आपने इसके बाद दूसरा लिखा वो वो नीचे आ जाएगा उसके साथ लेकिन हेडर में ही आप अगर पहले का कोई दूसरा लिखोगे एच वन या कुछ एच टू या कुछ और पिक्चर लगाओगे वो नीचे नीचे आएंगे ब्लॉक तो वही होता है ना बट यू डू इट अगर आप इसको इनलाइन करोगे तो वो यहाँ साइड में आ जाएगा इट विल कम ऑन साइड ये ऑटोमेटिक लग रहा है ठीक है जी और ये ऐसे ही स्टाइलिंग हम कर सकते हैं किसको यहाँ पे ये हर एक टैग को दिखाएगा भी और उसमें दिखेगा देखो अब इसका जो ये ऑरेंज इसमें ऑरेंज आ रहा है यहाँ पे येलो दिख रहा है आपको स्क्रीन पे ये जो येलो आ रहा है ये पूरा दिखा रहा है कि इसका मार्जिन किधर किधर से है ये मार्जिन दिख रहा है ठीक है ना उसके बाद पैडिंग ग्रीन की दिख रही है और जो ब्लू कॉन्टेंट दिख रहा है यहाँ पे द ब्लू इज द एक्चुअल कॉन्टेंट दिस इज द एच वन दिस इज वट 
एच वन उसकी पैडिंग दिख रही है ग्रीन की जितनी आपने रखी सो यू एक्चुअली दिस दिस विल गिव इन साइट ऑफ यूर साइड ऑल योर बिल्डिंग दिस इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट डेव टूल्स दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दे आर लॉट ऑफ यू नो दीज टैब्स हियर विच यू नीड टू लर्न ओके गेटिंग ओके same way we can catch for example i say here uh, in my code actually i have the first html i can put up what the like nav uh, the, this is nav tag and there is id what and if i want to grab it how i do it i say here hash in so maybe i give different background to it okay background color then later when we finish the css we'll give some time for the animations and all styling and all okay maybe bootstrap we may add we may add sass which is not in the syllabus but we may give may let me think if we can give let me see the syllabus and time we have we may add few days maybe one week time to give that styling and all build some sign or we can develop one little project okay where we apply things we learn by doing okay maybe i want uh, some different color to acquire maybe for the nav tag now hash is exactly giving what it's given to the nav tag only right you getting my point maybe maybe i have this thing uh, see here <clears throat> maybe this is the nav tag i don't give it uh, this is the n its id is this div maybe have an id of n okay this is navigation if i say nav only you'll be confused how how i style it what is the what is the fun of keeping nav here if the nav is all to the name how will you differentiate because nav is tag ka naam bhi hai id bhi nav hai style mein kaise differentiate karenge main id pe kaam kar raha hu ya main seedhe tag pe kar raha hu when you say hash it means id This is simply now. It means the the tag element itself. Okay. Now I am using this div id is equal to n. Okay. I got another div here, which has a class or whatever, and then there is h two tag, and I am saying another navigation control s. Okay. Now if I go to the go firstly here and see it this is the nav this is another navigation magar iska to ye aana chahiye isko mein bhi nahi nahi nav mein hi acha i have to change kiya na ye maine nav likha hai isko control s so i have to put up in style na nav kahan gaya hu na control s taaki sare navigation ko aayega na ye जितना भी नेविगेशन है एरिया उस पर आएगा बट यू कुड सी देयर इज जीरो मार्जिन जीरो पैडिंग इट्स कमिंग क्लोजर टू द दिस इफ आई पुट अ बॉर्डर एंड ऑल बिकॉज़ बाय डिफॉल्ट मैंने किया ना वो सो वी हैव टू एडजस्ट इट लाइक दिस इफ यू वांट सो हाउ आई डू दैट टेल मी ये नेवी है ना सो मे बी आई जस्ट कॉपी ऑल ऑफ दिस कंट्रोल सी या बैकग्राउंड मे बी आई डोंट वांट बैकग्राउंड ऑलरेडी हो चुका है हां control z okay delete it control s to save it yes okay now i want to apply only to the another navigation you will tell me jo another navigation hai main iska color change kar do khali lekin another navigation wo this is nav ko nahi main khali isme jo another navigation hai isme main alag color chahta hu aur main chahta hu ki uski width jo hai na utni hi aaye You will tell me, help me in doing that. How I do it? आप पहले देखो यहाँ पे another navigation कहाँ पे है? Another navigation ये है. H2 tag में है. इसका ऊपर area का div अपना है. उसका class about. ये उसको बता रहा हूँ ना मैं. तो क्या करेंगे? Style में जाएंगे. Dot about लिखूँगा मैं. Dot. Dot about. अब मैं इसका क्या करना चाहता हूँ? Background color change करना चाहता हूँ. How I do it? Background color. Maybe. write something maybe brown or blue or whatever you want okay let's take put brown control 
S. Now, if you see, it will take up the, it will only color that, but it will be whole long, right? I want this only up to this one. I will control this whole line. Width. I say, width, how much? What? Control S. Okay. It's only up to that color. Sometimes you know you hover mouse and change the color and all we will see the later on. And it, it should be linkable, we know that. Okay. If I want to get this navigation on this si side of this, how do you do that? Go yes, this way, in line and all that. So we understood today. That's all for today. We do that we understood that we can have a style using three techniques to apply the style. First is First inline. Second is, you tell me how we apply the style. First is internal, inline. Second is, no, no, internal. In style, pura style, na? internal. Internal kaam pe lagayenge? Header tag mein. Hai na? Jaise ye, jaise ye lagaya tha, ye wala. Ye lagaya na iske head, head tag mein, sorry. Yes. Jaise ye lagaya. Aur agar humare paas karna hai kya? Bahar se, then we use to link. We use link, rel is called style sheet. Is the one you have to come, rel is called style sheet. And href is equal to CSS ek folder. Hai. Uske andar mari pas style.css. Ab isme ye fayda hai ki style.css jo hai, aapne bhoot bada content banaya. Usme style.css aapne achche se banaya. Thik hai? Har ek cheez ka aapne soj, uchar karke, waha se, yaha se, dek kar, isme mehnat karke, aapni choice ki saab se banaya. Uski saari wo styles ke bhoot badi file bani. Now you can reuse to another project. Or you can even in the same project, you have different forms. And you want to apply same theme to all of them. Or maybe little tweaking. Okay? You can use the same. Okay? You understand? Okay. That's all for today. Okay?